Welcome to this uh, quick video tutorial and I will show you how to access an online exam on the Creso University online web portal. So the first thing you need to use is Google Chrome. So to access Google Chrome on an Android device, you go to the main menu, locate the Google Chrome app. Once that loads, then you go into the address bar and start typing the following creso dot to tell h world dot com then you press on go once that loads you start typing in your username which is in this case your student number Once you type in your student number, you click on login. Once you're logged in, then you go to the menu. You can zoom in. You go to the menu. You click on academics. You can zoom out a bit. Then you'll see other options here called online exam. You click on that. Then under the online exam, you'll see this select exam. Then you click on that then it will bring this option so you click on the one that you need to sit for then you click on go when you click on go it will show you that the exam name is that and the number or the number of minutes or the duration for that exam is also indicated there pass percentage is also indicated you click on start exam once you start, as you can see in the corner here, we have the time section. That's what should show. And you also have um, the total number of marks for this exam. Okay, so you have the first question there. Like you've seen, I'm just using small swipes to, to kind of um, zoom in and read the question. I can give, I can read the question by you know uh, swiping just in the middle of the phone not all the way so i'll answer the first question i'll answer the second question i won't show you the the actual question so that this doesn't become like a leakage so after i answer all the questions then i go to the next page as you can see here down here you have next don't click on end exam because when you click on end exam it means you want to end this exam okay so you have a total of three pages meaning that you have questions listed within these three pages so you have to answer all of them for you to then click on end exam so once you click on the third page what has happened here is that um it's taken me straight to the last question okay so i'll zoom back in and then go to the top of the page so i'll i'll tick my answers these are multiple choice so i'll tick my answers there then when i come here that's where i will answer this question using this uh this 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 box here so i'll type my answer there the answer to this question okay so after i answer my question there then i can click on end exam as you can see on top here the time is still moving okay and you need to observe how many marks are given for each question. Each question is indicated, okay? So as you can see, those, those other questions on top are one mark each, but this one is 20 marks. So it means I need to explain a bit more on this one. And as you can see, I have two windows there that are open. In the, in the corner there, there's a two there. So it shows that the active window which i'm in right now is where the exam is happening so after i finish i click on end exam what does it ask me to leave the site if i wanted to go back 
I would click on cancel then it would take me back to the exam and I can go to the previous page I can change the answers there okay then after I change the answers I can click on the end exam it's up to me in this case so when it asks me again to change uh, leave site change that you made will not be saved all that so this is the same message that came before i can actually cancel and go back or leave leaving means that you are ending this exam and waiting it's like leaving an exam room an actual exam room okay so I'll click on leave and what has it shown me here you have successfully completed the exam okay and another message saying you will be notified once the result for this exam is published what does this mean it means that that portion of the exam which uh, had that descriptive essay type question is the one that needs to be evaluated by my lecturer first then after the, the, my lecturer grades or gives me a score for that question then uh the total that i've scored for this exam will be reflected and hence that's when i will receive my grading for this exam okay so once i see this i click on finish and i have ended i'm able to view my results there okay so it says here no suitable online exam found why because it has not yet been graded okay so i have to wait until my lecturer grades me then i will be given my result okay that ends the tutorial if you have any questions or you would like clarification you can please get in touch on uh, 0963 that number is used for uh, queries okay so i would suggest you text and be patient because i've i'm receiving a lot of texts so don't expect an immediate uh, response then then okay be patient as you send your requests and please don't always opt to call because uh, calling is something that inhibits me from attending to so many queries at any given time so i'll be on a call for so long and others would just be waiting so please if you can text it's actually far much better than calling thank you so much and i hope this is helpful